What's going on everybody and welcome back to another player review. So today we'll be reviewing 92 rated centre back team of the season at Daily Blind. Hopefully I am pronouncing that right. If anyone knows how to pronounce it or if I'm saying it right, make sure to comment down below. But today we'll be reviewing this card. Um, we're going to hop into his attributes and player bio in a second. Then we're going to go into a game or two. And after that I'll give my overall verdict whether or not I think he's worth it and his pros and cons. Then an overall rating out of 10 and I mean uh, 60k like wherever point of a game you can get quality cards for incredibly cheap and in this case 60k where I paid 58k for a card like this is absolutely incredible and he, he looks really good we're gonna go over his chem style and everything in a second before we do that if you guys are new and you do want to help me out I mean so much if you do so by just dropping a like and subscribing it is free and it does help me out a lot but anyways Without further ado, let's get in to his player bio and stats. He is 5 foot 11. Uh, I'm going to be playing this card as a centre back. You could use him as a CDM, but I feel like the pace isn't great and you need pace as a CDM more than a centre back. So 74 pace as a centre back isn't horrible. We'll get into the chem style like I said before in a second and what I'll be using to get that up. Um, but 5 foot 11 isn't too tall. Medium, medium is, I mean... Relatively, I would like high defensive work rates for a centre back. Not a massive issue whatsoever. Preferred foot is left, and he is three star, three star. Now, let's go into his attribute details. 74 pace, like I said, 83 acceleration, but that's 65 sprint speed, leading him down a lot there. His shooting, here's some decent shooting. Finishing of 68 isn't good, but other than that, for a centre back, of course, his natural position is a CDM. He has moved to centre back since. Uh, I mean, 68 finishing is just not good at all. But other than that, he's got some decent-ish shooting. Not important whatsoever. His passing of 97, long and short passing. Insane vision, good crossing, insane curve. So, I mean, he's got some brilliant stats there. Going to his dribbling, his agility and balance is at 82 and 83. Not horrible at all. Definitely, definitely for a centre-back, I'd consider that good. I'd consider him agile for a centre-back. 94 ball control and 95 composure as well. And looking at those defensive stats, honestly, he looks incredible. His physical, 90 strength, is insane. Literally 92 stamina. The only thing that could be wrong with his card would be his pace. So, now for the chemistry style, we will be going ahead and using a catalyst. Now, the reason behind that is simply because his defense is already really high. You do not have to jack that up too much because if we have a look at his defending, literally 94 defensive awareness, 96 stand tackle, 90 slide tackle, uh, 98 interceptions are already really high. The only thing lead leading him down a little bit there is his 85 hitting accuracy. Um, so it's not... Defending, you, you can leave that stat alone, and a shadow, what it would do, it'd be an unnecessary defensive boost, but it will give him plus 15 pace, instead of a catalyst giving plus 10. But we are going with a catalyst, he will go up to 93 acceleration, and 75 sprint speed, putting him on 84 pace, and it'll also get his passing up, you could say the short passing boost is unnecessary, plus 2, the curve is unnecessary, he gets a plus 5 crossing, a plus 9 vision, and a plus 10 free kick accuracy. Um, so honestly if you want really 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 want an extra five on top of a catalyst boost um, pace then go for a shadow but a uh, catalyst is a much cheaper option and I mean it, it works just as well if not a tiny bit less but of course it really is up to you at the end of the day this dude's passing is jacked his 84 pace with a chem style is acceptable, his physical is very good, his defensive is also jacked. So honestly, this card looks incredible, and without further ado lads, let's hop in to the game. Please ignore this dude, we need him here for chem, straight away we will sub him off for Yuri Bushishe, and uh, then we will play him as a centre back in a 4 triple 2 But without further ado lads, let's get in to the review, is he worth it? Alright lads, in the first game we will be facing, just please don't be a god, it's a god squad. It's a god squad, man. Oh my god. Well, this seems definitely like 10 times better than mine, so... We have to really, 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 really sweat this game. Excellent ball over the top. He's in position. There we are, 1-0 one up. 1-0 one up, there we go. Daily Blind could be tested here. We're bringing him out. 
Um, no need, but he's going to get a through ball there. What a bloody save. Daily blind, we pushed out, literally. If Yashin didn't save me there, it was 1-1. Daily blind, there we are. What an interception. We bring, him up, we bring him up, then bring him back, and he does read that pass very nicely. Oh, no. Yeah, nah, definitely all over unless... Nah, 1-1. One, one. Game's on, man. Going attacking now. We've definitely... I feel like we're definitely the better player. Definitely. So let's see if the game will help us win. Right, we're playing that back to Daily Blind. Lovely skill moves in ball roll. And just a nice little tap to the SIE starting play. Right, Daily Blind once again. Good passes. Passes are really impressive. Oh my god, it was Daily Blind as well. Oh wow. So close, man. So close. Daily Blind almost with a goal. Imagine that. A centre back scoring on his debut. Wow. Daily Blind could be tested as 84 pace. It's very, very close. And my keeper does get to it. Thank God. Um, I, I'd say his pace, yes, this is where Shadow does come in useful in that position. He, I don't think he was going to catch him. Still Vault did still put up a good fight, put pressure on. And it wasn't, by all means, it wasn't horrible pace. That was a very fine read. Oh, surely. Yeah, 2-1 up. up. Let's go. Odd. Daily Blind, what a tackle, and he gets it back as well. What an absolute tank. I ruined the pass, though. Shit. <laughs> Giving this to Blind. Blind's getting involved a lot this half, which is very good. I'm going to play that back to Blind. Here we are, good one, too. Literally, ah, man. The dude intercepted it. Unlucky. Playing that back to Blind. We haven't got long to hold on to the ball, uh, or long until the match is over, I should say. But still, we want to try to get another goal for confirmation of the win. Jesus, that was a weird way to say it. Oh, pressure is on. Blind, good pass under pressure. Blind, we bring him out. Oh, what an interception. It goes straight back to him, though. It goes straight blind once again. Oh my goodness, that is alpha male shit right there. He wins a tackle, gets intercepted, runs back, wins it again. Alpha male shit, let's go. We're just going to boot that. And, oh no, it could be on, nah, surely, full time? No, it's not. Yeah, now, there we are, boom, 2-1 win. That was a very good review. I'm proud of that one. We've got a shit ton of clips of Blind there as well. So I'm very happy with the amount of clips and content we have. Video should definitely be over 10 minutes. But wow, where do I start? An 8 rating for a centre back is phenomenal. Honestly, the average rating for a centre back in a 2 1 win, I'd say, is like 7, 7.5. Um, this IU with a 7.4, my whole back line with an averaging a 7.2, 7.4. Um, honestly, I'm very impressed. Now, a shadow. This is, this is where I do recommend a shadow. Um, his pace, 84 pace, it caught up. It did catch up to some players. Uh, it caught up to my opponent's Texi era, not going to try to pronounce them, and it also caught up to Rashford for 84 pace. Um, but then, well, it was catching up, I should say. But they still, they had to edge on him with their, like, 95 sprint speed. So, honestly, yes, maybe a shadow, because that would put him to 89 pace, and that would be a lot better than 84. So, maybe go with a shadow. His passing's fine how it is. So, that's the only mistake I did do. Um, but other than that, this card is phenomenal. I'd say with a shadow, completely fine. Definitely usable with a shadow. Uh, his defensive, his, his defense is incredible. Uh, with a shadow, of course, it would bump it up even more. With a catalyst, it wasn't needed. Like, I'm very impressed. He got a tackle, and then, or he intercepted it. He then lost it, and then run straight back to clear that header. That's like, like I said, alpha male stuff right there. Very impressed with this card. His agility and balance was brilliant as well. Of course, originally being a CDM, 80, was it 83 and 80? So very, very good for a centre back there. With a shadow, 
on 60k plus a shadow would be 75k you're looking an in-game card here if you can fit them in your team then definitely a card worth using anyways this has been the end of review i will give this card a 9.5 out of 10 and of course he is worth it anyways until next time lads it has been your boy davis and until next time see you all later